So those type of seeds are referred to as exaluminous or non-endosperming seeds. In fact, here the food would be stored in the cotyledons generally. So as in the case of, for example, we have pea, beans, we can find this, these types of the seeds. Then furthermore, what happens to the nucellus? We also have one more, one more important structure called nucellus. Nucellus is generally regarded as the megasporangium proper in the ovule. So nucellus, uh, when it is in fact, generally it is utilized by the developing embryo, this also, but in certain cases it would also be left over the thin layer around the endosperm. So that is called as, leftover nucellus is called as the perisperm or the persistent endo, you know, nucellus uh, is the perisperm. So, this can be seen, okay, for example, this can be seen with respect to, you no know, black pepper. We can also find with respect to water lily. And also in the case of castor, we can find the perisperm. So, these are, in fact, the important changes which we can find with respect to seed. These are the structures of ovules which form the different structures of seed, my dear friends, that we need to understand. Furthermore, let us also discuss that seeds show an important phenomenon referred to as dormancy of seeds. So, seeds generally in fact undergo the dehydration process. They retain only the 10 to 15 percent of moisture. So, this is very important because it avoids microbial contamination and also it is important uh, in avoiding the degradation of the seeds. So one point. On the second, uh, let me tell you, the embryo inside the seed, uh, you know, all its metabolic activities, uh, it will suspend. So that results in the seeds becoming, you know, or undergoing the rest stage or the dormant stage. And the phenomenon, the phenomenon is referred to as dormancy of seeds, my dear friends. So, remember that the dormancy of seeds is uh, highly exploited uh, in agriculture. Uh, especially, let me tell you, for example, uh, the seeds you know, can be stored for a very long period of time also. For years it can be stored or uh, few of the seeds can be stored for months or few seeds can be stored for days. Whatever it is, so this can be in fact exploited in the field of agriculture. For example, you know, in a particular season, you know, we can store the seed and uh, sow them so that, you know, that particular climatic conditions of environment, you know, will result in the good uh, yield. So, that's where it is exploited in agriculture. And seeds are highly necessary for consumption of human beings. We consume the endosperm, we consume the fleshy cotyledons so that, you know, uh, around the year, Round the year, seeds can be stored and also can be consumed by the human beings. So these are few important aspects we need to remember with respect to the post-fertilization structure, the seed. So furthermore, my dear friends, I request everybody to like, subscribe and also share.